Hello guys, I hope you are well. Today I will show you how to make a very old looking digital clock in wood. It looks really nice, doesn't it? This clock also has an internal battery which allows you to run continuously for at least 7 days. Moeba, maybe it can decorate your home. It is very easy to make. If you watch the video from beginning to end, you can make it for yourself. So keep watching the video till the end. Stay home and stay safe. This video has been sponsored by GLC PCB. This company make product PCB with new generation technology. From here you can order up to maximum 6 layer PCB and most attractive offer you can choose any color of PCB absolutely free of cost. You can also choose SMT service to save your time or make your work easier. And of course you can enjoy worldwide shipping in just 7 days. All those fun offer you can enjoy for just 2 dollars. I must say for additional information you can visit their website. To make this extraordinary beautiful body, you definitely need to make a very nice wooden box. So with all this thing in my mind, I start my box making journey. At first I thought I would use a 3D printer to make this box. But when I changed my mind and thought about the whole audience. It's also a matter of wondering how beautiful this clock will be. So I decided to make it out of wood. I know guys, I would have to work very hard to make it. But still I want to make this was insane beautiful. So I decided to use this kind of wood to make this box. It is really very hard wood and which will not break easily. First you have to cut the section of wood so that you can understand which part you want to cut out and which part you want to keep. Eventually I cut out my unnecessary wooden part. And guys remember one thing when you cutting you must keep in mind that is one piece of wood can be easily fit to another. In exactly the same way I made 4 pieces of wood of different size. That would be the length and wide of this box. Next for the purpose of testing I attach each pieces of wood to each other. And see that it was very nicely fitted to each other and which has taken the form of a box. The next talk is very difficult. I hope you know I had 3 switches on my watch which you can use for different tucks. So here are 3 switches I need to attach to the wood. So I put each switches on the wood and measure the middle point. Then I will measure the bottom of the switches by the scale and whose diameter is 15 by 10 mm. I made a pieces of paper of the same sizes. And as a result I will be able to take the exact measurement of the switches in the wood. After then I delete 3 holes with an 18 mm deal width to the fit the bottoms. But it didn't end here. Then I decided to cut the side with the saw to get it the right shape. After then finally I did the final treatment with my file. In exactly the same way I made 3 holes for switches. And see finally my switch is going to fit into the wood in very nice way. Ok guys now it's time to put the woods together. So I will try to put them together very skillfully through the glue. It took me a long time to do that. And after adding you have to make sure that it is the right rectangular shape. Then you have to leave it for 24 hours for dry. Since it will take 24 hours to dry. So by then let's try to understand its electronic process how will it work. Since it is a digital clock that's why you must have an Arduino here. This is Arduino Uno. Say this is the RTC module which has 3832 IC to hold the correct time of this clock even if there is no power. You can see here are many pin in this RTC module. From inside this RTC module just we will need those two pin which is a CL pin and SDA pin. I decided to use this type of metric display to make this clock. This metric display consists of 18 to 8 pixel. If I open this display you can see inside this MX7219IC is controlling this metric display. Also as an input signal just you needed data in CS and clock pin. You will also see here data output option. With this you can add another display which allow to combine multiple metric display to create a beautiful display. First you need to connect 5 volt power source to this display and then you need to connect the data input pin with this Arduino digital pin 11 and next connect to CS pin with digital pin 10, last clock pin with digital pin 13 and then you need to connect the HDF pin of this RTC module to analog pin 4 and the SL pin is for analog pin 5. Once all the connections are done I will connect the USB cable and upload my clock code. You will always get the code in the description box. Once the code is uploaded, see it is working pretty well, time is being counted correctly. This means my clock is working properly. You can set the time manually if you want. That is why you need to add a switch panel. 
and you know I made it before which I definitely want to put with my wooden box. But here is the problem which is that it would very difficult to put so many things in this box properly. So I made all the board here a little smaller space which is smaller in size and hopefully it will fit inside my box very easily. Okay, let's get the rest of the box done. The next morning, every piece of wood in the box stuck nicely to each other. Now looks, there's a long piece of wood coming out from this box that looks really very bad. So I will cut it with a saw. Be very careful when you cut it. After cut it, even you can see somewhere up and down and also it looks very bad. So I will take the help of my file to make it look beautiful properly. And it took me at least 2 hours to rub it. After the file treatment, it is still not nice or smooth. To make it more beautiful, I'll use 180 grit sandpaper here. And after rub it for more than one and a half hour, it looks pretty good. After then, I use 320 grit sandpaper to make it more and more beautiful. And after completing this difficult task, see, the box looks as good as I expected. Then I will fit the switch panel inside this box and stuck the switch panel with super glue. Look, it looks pretty good. The switch are fit properly with this wooden box. Then I will stack the double set tape on the matrix display so that I can fit my matrix display panel properly into the wooden box. As a result, it's stuck to the wooden frame. To properly illuminate the light of the matrix display, I will put the black colored glass on the top of it so that it looks more extraordinarily beautiful. And then I made a thin wooded form frame to hold the pieces of glass, which is not too bad to look it. Am I right? And I will use super glue to hold the frame. Then I will polish the box to make it look more beautiful with glazer liquid. Here I did a little stupid thing because because I needed to do it first. But you have to be careful because it took about two days to dry. After then I took a plow to make the back frame and put my watch on it. And I took a card size with the pencil around this box. And after cutting it properly, I put the pieces of wood on the back of this box and took the card size through a scale to see where the nut bolt is sit to attach the back frame. Then I will use 0.5mm drill bit to drill properly in every place because I am using 0.6mm screw here. This is the final back cover in which I made some hole for the switch and the female socket. Then I put the board that I had made and tied it with bolt. Here I am thinking of using 2200 mAh battery as the internal battery of this clock which is enough to run this clock for 7 consecutive days. You also need a lithium charging module to charge this battery because I want this battery to charge properly even I attach this charger to this wooden frame so that I can easily fit it in this box. And definitely I must connect this battery with this lithium module. I used a jumper inside this board which is acting as a switch here. I will remove this jumper because I want to make a connection from this jumper to my switch so that I can turn on the clock and off from outside. Then I collected 3.7 volt from this battery that I would attach to my clock board. Once everything is connected then I will connect the cable of metric display and the switch cable. Ok guys my job is done in the right way which means I can close the back cover lid. So I close the back cover lid as usual and tighten the lid with screw. Then I connected the charging cable so that I can charge the watch. And see that the charging is on and the watch is working properly. Even you can remove the charging cable if you want. It looks really awesome. You can let us know what you think in the comment section. You can decorate the clock in your room if you want. It has been a really awesome watch which is old looking but it is digital. You can make it at home if you want and gain a new experience. If you need any more information you can message me on Facebook page and I will definitely help you. So guys this is for today. I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you learn then subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you in the next video. Stay safe and stay home.